Welcome to the first episode of role playing with Emacs. As we learned last time, learning Emacs is like role playing. So I decided to create a game of my own and I call it Editor Scrolls. In this game you learn about Emacs, gain experience and level up at the end of the episode. So let's start the game by pressing any key, which is the space bar in my case. I select new game and I select one of the three characters available. So they are like users of a different text editors. I pretend to be a VIM user and start with VIM. Let us wait for it to load. And there's the game. So it starts with a tutorial which uh, makes us familiarized with uh, the interface. So to start with it tells us that the health and the mana are on the right bottom and when would you lose health or your mana will drain it says that the experience bar is at the bottom left and I would gain experience as I complete objectives ultimately leveling up at the end of the episode the objectives are on the left play safe out there in edge scrolls wish you luck so this ends the first objective let us prepare our inventory which means obtain Emacs. So obtaining Emacs can be done from the official GNU website, which looks like this. They have FTP set up. So if you want to download it for your Windows system, you can download it from here, the right version that you want. It's an archive. And once you download the archive, you can extract it and run the executable run emacs.exe from the bin directory. That's all. In case you're lucky, you're using Linux, it's even more simpler. So it's like running sudo apt get install emacs24 on a Debian system. And you have emacs24. You can run it from the terminal or the way you want. That completes our second objective, getting emacs. Let us proceed with the emacs training. So as I believe, uh, it does not matter if you own a spaceship or a text editor, you just need to learn how to operate it. So if you want to take it out for a spin, you better learn how to use it. And learning Emacs is really very important. The first step after you want to start Emacs, as I recommend is to go through the Emacs tutorial and the guided tour. You can find the two links available at the Emacs startup screen and the one that comes up when you start Emacs. And if you don't see that screen, you can just press Ctrl H, Ctrl A. Let me show you on Emacs. So this is the screen, the startup screen. And here are the two links, Emacs Tutorial and Emacs Garret Tour. If I click Tutorial, it gives me a, a long text with um, instructions for me to start, get started with Emacs, basically. It's quite long and it takes time. Let me close it right now. So this may take you days, weeks, or even months. Take it slow, and I'm sure it will be worth it will be worth the patience. It has been slow for me. I took weeks, I think, went over it a couple of times, and then it was worth. And there are a lot of websites on the internet from people who are ready to help you with Emacs, getting started with it getting better every day and one good example is the Ergo Emacs website it looks like this and they have a lot of topics on Emacs from day one which says Emacs first day you can learn at your own pace and well level up with this we yeah so there's this thing about Emacs that uh, it is a self-documenting text editor. So it has an integrated help system that you can use when you get stuck. Uh, you would never be alone. You can just press Ctrl H followed by a key which determines what you want to find about. So if you want to find about a function, you can just press Ctrl H space F. And with space I mean not another space that you would rather type. You just press Ctrl H followed by a F. 
and then you are prompted to enter a function name which you can find out more about this ends the third objective next is about configuring emacs so once you get emacs and you learn something about it you get good at it probably you would want to configure it and emacs can be configured to an really unimaginable extent the first source of getting started with emacs is like uh, those starter packs available out there for you to use so you can uh, use a lot of starter kits Algo Emacs mentions a list of starter kits available they are the popular ones and I'm sure there are a lot of other starter kits available which will come up here soon and there are also options like space Emacs which has um, key bindings set and optimized for VI users there are coming to Emacs and many people share their configuration over github uh, they are the configuration files that you build up over a period of time while using Emacs so that you make Emacs your Emacs and they make a repository on github and you can use it for a reference in case you get inspired you can probably contribute to it so there's my repository on github I call it dot files I have um, things other than the Emacs configuration but uh, yeah I have the Emacs directory also you can see what I have in there and what scripts basically I have written to make my life easier every day there are videos, videos available on YouTube and there's a couple of them by me so there's one that I can as an example show you is this one uh, which is Emacs configuration in 24 minutes so you can just configure Emacs in 24 minutes from scratch starting from downloading it and there's a lot of videos for help and in case you want to do it all your on your own you can just do it at your own pace so you can learn different extensions uh, new key bindings customize them and add it to your configuration every day uh, you're very well encouraged for that and I think that's it uh, we leveled up and this is the end of the episode that's all for this episode if you like the video uh, remember to hit the like button you can subscribe for future episodes and remember to enter your feedback in the comment section this was Role Playing with Emacs Episode 1. See you in Episode 2.